What if I told you that ray tracing, the technology, is coming to your flagship Android device? But what is ray tracing? Let me show you Tech Today style. We've set up this shoot in a way where you can see these shadows. If my hand is moving or you want it to be a nice little light show, you can see these shadows in the back. The way light hits an object and then reflects or refracts. I'm not giving you a physics or a science lesson, but this, if was emulated in a video game on a high-end console or a top gaming laptop, then it would add, well, a layer of realism that makes this whole scene a lot more believable. This happens on the PlayStation 5 with a top monitor. It happens with a top gaming laptop or a rig. But what if you could do this in the palm of your hand on a flagship Android device? That's what Snapdragon, Qualcomm Snapdragon is trying to do with their new 8 Gen 2. And I caught up with the genius behind this whole ray tracing philosophy coming to your mobile phones. Ziad Asghar at the Snapdragon Summit. Here's what he had to say. Ziad, fantastic keynote. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks so much. And just to get to the bottom of it, ray tracing yeah. is coming on mobile phones. That's the headline for me. <laughs> As a gamer, someone who plays the PlayStation for so long, we invest in high-end TVs gaming consoles and now you're telling me that'll come on an Android device. Absolutely. You know, it's truly amazing. What you had to basically do on a desktop right. device until recently, now you can basically take it, put it in the palm of your hand right. and we make it work basically based in the same power envelope. Mm -hmm. So we're super excited about it. And the techn technology is just awesome, right? You can literally take a light source okay. and it will follow it across, right. look at realistic reflections, shadows, lighting, everything that you can imagine. Right and again in the same power envelope, and that's the true smarts of Snapdragon. Absolutely, Ziad. You know, what I'm trying to understand is how did you make ray tracing possible yes. on mobile devices? And you can, you can be as geeky as possible sure. because the audience will sure. appreciate it. So, in the beginning, the, I think the key point always is going to be Adreno is a technology that right. we have developed internally for a very long time. Okay. And the key advantage is if you pick up any device and you compare us with it, our performance per watt, as in how much performance we can do for a given amount of battery, right. is best in class. So with that advantage, as we were looking at introducing ray tracing, of course the big constraint that we have is we cannot hook up a device into the wall. We want a device that's in the palm of your hands and able right. to do it. So we built a ray tracing engine from the ground up that's actually able to hit that power mark. Mm -hmm. So it's our ingenuity, our innovation, mm -hmm. to be able to bring the same experiences that people require multiple fans, mm -hmm and a plug into the wall that we can do just with our device. But as a tech leader and someone yeah. who's been in the industry for so long, I'm right. sure you understand this. Yeah. You spoke about it being yeah. a building block and enabler, mm -hmm. but from your personal view now, yeah. do you think the metaverse is really worth such a big bet? All of big tech seems to be investing in the metaverse. You guys yeah. are, are bullish on really enabling the metaverse, but do you think it's a safe bet? I believe it's a very good bet. I'll explain to you my reasoning for it. Sure. I think the world gets to a point where you have a digital twin. And I'd argue that you have multiple digital twins already. Right. In the social networks, right? There is a, there's a presence uh, uh, for you in multiple different networks, I'm sure. It basically could be a metaverse that's very social in nature. It could be a metaverse that's for entertainment. Mm -hmm. It could be a metaverse that's for medical purposes. Correct. So I think the number of different instantiations of metaverse that we can see for many different applications make it a reality one way or another, in my opinion.